just a quick one. Um, I signed up for one of these uh, charities that uh, uh, give to people in Africa, and um, the minute I signed up for that, I've been bombarded by every bleeding heart organisation out. So obviously they sold my name to other groups. And there's no way known that I'll be giving anything to anybody anymore, even though I do agree with the previous caller who, you know, we live in Australia. That's just, we've got as good as it's going to get. Thanks, Bill. How do you stop, how do you check out whether or not your name's going to go on a database, Sarah? Yes, privacy um, issues and data for charitable sector is an increasingly important issue. The, the whole charitable sector is accumulating, like government, so much individual data and information on um, givers, and there's a huge huge amount of responsibility that comes with that. I would definitely urge um, each individual who gives to a charity to be quite upfront and ask those questions. Rod, hello. Yeah, good morning. Your turn. Yeah, um, a question. Uh, I give money to um, Salvation Army basically every Friday night. Approximately 50 bucks. I usually give a $50 note. Um, uh, well, I put my report in it I, to get my taxes fixed up. I've got no written thing to say that I, I did it. And it's, you know, two and a half thousand dollars I could have got off my tax. I found something about that. If you make one or more donations of $2 or more, uh, you can claim a tax deduction up to $10 for those. Co- uh, what, without a receipt, Sarah? Yes, I, without a receipt, obviously there is an element of work you can do with your accountant around claiming a, a certain amount of donations to a certain point. But I definitely would cons- um, ask in future to secure some sort of um, receipt from the charity. It just, just makes life easier for you, I think. Are you able to do that, Rod? Uh, yeah, well, I, I haven't done it over the past what, 10 years. Well, you should probably start, <laughs> and, given uh, the yeah, franking no, credit the situation, problem, yeah. you know. I also, yeah, also give to cancer as well. But, um, yeah. That's uh, basically two donations I give um, per year, yeah. It's interesting. Thank you, Rod. The older voices giving. Is, mm. it, a, is it an older person thing? Are we, do we need to cultivate this in younger people, Sarah? I think younger people, millennials, give in, in different ways as well. They, there is a, they have sometimes less expendable income to give, yeah. but they do give back in their communities. They do volunteer, and that trend generally, generally now is they are interested in running charities more than just giving to them. Sarah, a most fascinating conversation, unexpected in this particular segment, which is more about making money than than preserving money than giving it. But we've warmed up to it. I've got a full board of calls that I can't get to, but thank you. Sarah Wickham, Policy and Research Manager at Philanthropy Australia. It's nine o'clock.